Psst, disclaimer. Mom, new number. Got it. Thanks, Mom. Love you. Please do not celebrate Halloween. It is a demonic holiday. They sacrifice children and also use human blood in the sacrifices. This is one especially bad because the demonic portal in CERN. Switzerland is now open and so You mean the particle accelerator? <laughs> really? <laughs> And please say prayers to protect everyone on this day. Love XOXO. How is a particle accelerator equivalent to like a demon portal? Lady, where do you even find this information? How did you come to this conclusion? I can imagine a poor scientist coming in their lab coat. He's like, oh my god, cultist, I will stab at thee with my cross. Yeah, you scientists are demon portals in Switzerland. Well, good evening, ladies, losses, and lassos. Welcome to the click. Today, we're gonna dive into some of that sweet, sweet r slash insane parents. So just sit back, relax, grab a snack, and hopefully this is not one of your parents being featured in this video. Enjoy. What does Anne want for Christmas? Does she like Barbie still? How about the pony toys? She's not so much into the toys anymore. How about a new bike helmet? She likes playing outside. I'm not getting a little girl a helmet. Which Barbies does she have? Send me pics. Mom, she won't play with them. I just don't want you to be upset when she doesn't like them. She can say thank you. I did not raise you to raise ungrateful brats. I didn't say she wouldn't thank you, Mom. I said she might not play with them, which is the truth. She doesn't like dolls. Please don't get her any. This will go to waste on her. If she's going to be a little b then Nana won't be getting her anything. How about that? Wonder where she got that from. I'm sorry. That was rude. What does she want? You're done. No, I'm sorry. What does she want? You are a disgusting person, calling a child names. If you step foot on my property again, I will call the police. Happy birthday, you little B-word! <laughs> That's what you get for not playing with my toys! Hello, Mrs. Eh. I hope you're well. I just wanted to say thank you for helping Antino and his cello exam. He has passed with amazing results. Hopefully we can soon go start preparing for his next grade exam. On another note, I was wondering if during the lesson time anyone in your house can be perhaps cooking? Antonio's clothes always seem to have a somewhat ethnic stench to them. <laughs> oh my god! It takes more than one wash to get it out. Don't want him to be smelling Indian in public. It's not an issue, just a mindless thought. <laughs> but thank you anyway for everything. You've been a star. Kind regard, Mrs. Braces. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry, but can you not make my child smell Indian, please? Ethnic stench? Are you serious? That sounds like something, you know, a cartoon villain would say when they wa walk into a room, you know? Smells like ethnic stench in here. It's like, God, come on. Can you tell your dad to stop being sarcastic? Just because I don't have a high fever doesn't mean I'm not sick. I feel like crap and he's teasing me about it. Just an FYI, I have planned my entire day around new schedule. Your temper tantrums need to stop. I was getting strep throat. My dad was two hours away at his girlfriend's house. He refused to take me to the doctor. I am 17 and can't take myself. And was teasing me. This is a message from his girlfriend. I drove four hours to my mom's house so I could go to the doctor. I've just got off the phone with talking to a solicitor. That's why I missed your call. I'm making arrangements to leave you and Holly $20 each when I die. The sale of my property will go to risk. You contempt for me is obvious. So y'all have a good life because y'all blown it. I think of how many dogs and cats will benefit. Why are you doing this? There are no solicitors open at 6.30 p.m. Are you suffering from psychosis or something? <laughs> no, I think she's just playing games. She doesn't want to see the reaction. I mean, when your family members go to the point where they're kind of talking about their own death in a manipulative way, th then you know it's kind of far gone. Family is still family, no matter how they've hurt you. Hmm. <laughs> nah, fam. <laughs> oh, yes. Burn them on the fires of logic. Birth giver. Yeah, it's urgent. Please call me. I need you to put money on your debit card so I can catch an Uber home tonight from where I am. Call me. Please call me. I need you to put some money on your card so I can use an Uber to get home tonight. Love, Mom. You are now blocked forever from my accounts, my goodwill. Good job! Never again will I ever trust you. Excuse me? I went to bed at 6.30. I just woke up to pee. <laughs> oh my god, you're not awake 24-7 to answer my calls about not me not taking care of my own economy? Well, now you're disowned.
about that? As a mother and a woman who has CX, I got my son circumcised because it was my choice as his mother. I've had CX with uncircumcised guys and prefer circumcised. I also know a majority of women like myself don't like tube socks. Hello, L. You're a mother. Why are you like applying your sexual preference to your own child? That is really creepy. Dear ma'am, cease. Cease. Speak, tell a joke, tell an amazing fact. Yelling isn't going to make the situation better. Anti-vax parent trying to find actual data against vaccines. Realizing they don't need it because they found a blog about how vaccines have given kids autism. Yay! I found anecdotal evidence of a kid who has autism and also got a vaccine at some point in their life. Oh my lord! Here's how statistics work, fam. If I were to give a flu shot to a million people and then checked back in a week, some of those people most likely will have died. Because it's a lot of people. People die. It happens. It doesn't have to do with the vaccine. If you want to investigate it statistically, you need a control group. So you give a million people the vaccine and a million people don't give the vaccine. And then you see the difference between the group and decide if it's statistically significant. You can't just use anecdotal evidence. Oh my god, that kid over there is unhealthy. I mean, he's also been wearing pants his whole life, right? Maybe it's the pants making him sick, you know? <laughs> My parents, yelling at me but stopping when I start to cry. My parents, yelling at me till I start to cry, and then yelling because I'm crying. Are you here in eh or somewhere else? I had not heard from you since Wednesday. Hello, I want to know where you are and why you're not answering your phone or messages. You better be making yourself available. Where are you? I'm in eh, getting ready to go to eh to throw axes. Mom. No, I will not. It seems like you both don't have much connection to your grandparents, which is sad, but I understand. Yeah, well, after this stuff I know about them. I understand. Dad and I kept you at a distance from them for your own protection. Yeah, I would have preferred more of a distance after he took my towel off me and tried to see me naked and kept trying to get me to go with him in the hot tub naked. That would have been bad enough on its own, but it was even worse after knowing what he did to you. My grandfather is a pedophile. Ah, nice. He molested my mom when she was a child and attempted to molest me multiple times when I was a child. My mom did not protect me, but rather brought me to see him and forced me to hug him and let him kiss me. Okay, so pedophile and incest mixed in one. That's cool, grandparent. I am canceling Netflix because they're doing a TV show portraying Jesus as a gay man. Not supporting that. Every platform will have something people don't agree with. Yup. It's fake, and everyone knows it. I don't think that should be a sole reason to cancel. <laughs> Here's a text from you saying you don't want anything for Christmas. Yup. I even ask you if you're sure you don't want anything. Yup. So that means if you don't get any, you won't get upset, right? That makes sense to me. Merry Christmas. Why didn't you get me anything? Thanks, Mom. Love you too, XOXO. Hi, did you get my birthday card? Not yet. I'll check again. Call you in a bit. I sent it last Tuesday. I would never forget you on your birthday, X. I hope you're happy to let your spouse come between us. I thought we were closer than that. Love you forever. Merry freaking Christmas! I hope I die before next year. No worries. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> well, first you forget their birthday and you try to blame it on the male. And then afterwards you like passively, or very, not even passively aggressive, very actively aggressively scream Christmas at him and say, Yeah, I don't like you, I hope I die so you have something to feel bad about. When you're that desperate of being vengeful that you're willing to give up your own life just for someone else to feel bad, you got some problems, lady. I'm getting my HPV vaccine right now. What? No, don't get that. Why not? It's bad. She recommended it. Why is it bad? There's not enough research. No! Mom, the nurse and doctor recommend it. They've also recommended smoking in the 1950s. They've been recommending it since you were 13. And I've said no. Did you get it? Myself and Daddy do not want you to get it. I got it. I'm an adult and I'm making this decision for my health and what I think is best for me. I want you to trust my judgment. I have PCOS, which puts me at a greater risk for severe and cancer. Without the vaccine, I'm at even greater risk. I did it for myself and what I believe is best for me. Dr. Elliot said it is best to get it now because I'm not sexually active and can build up immunity now. I understand, but you have done no research on the vaccine itself. I wish you would have trusted my judgment. And one last thing, if you think I would ever advise you into doing anything that wasn't in your best interest, especially your health, you are extremely moving and misinformed. 
I never said that. My granny told me about making a potato necklace to draw out fevers. It turns completely black. And y'all, it really works. Nolan's fever yesterday was 102.3. Now it's at 98.2. Okay, cool. Well, the potato is going black because it's oxidating in the air, you know, it's rotting. <laughs> and fever usually goes down, you know. It's like, this is kind of that BS medicine where I could sell a sugar pill to someone who has a cold and say, well, in a week you will feel better. But, you know, a cold usually only lasts a week and fever usually goes down over time unless they're dying. So there is like no causation here. Just fever tends to go down with time that's the correlation and potatoes go black because you put them out of the fridge it's like <laughs> they have nothing to do with each other lady that's not how it works <laughs> oh you have the black plague allow me to smear potatoes down your face yo what the f is she freaking kidding me she's stopping me from doing laundry because dumbass superstition my head is going to explode from this bs what never heard that is this something new never heard that if you do laundry on New Year's Day, you'll be washing your loved ones away. What? Uh, she thinks something in the family is gonna die next year if I do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> no, the laundry machine is cursed. It says so in my in my horoscope. Dark futures await you. Oh my god, that means exactly this so specific. Oh my god, it comes true. You will face challenges today. And then you stub your toe and like, oh my god, it was correct. But, but in reality, it's so vague that whatever it says it's gonna happen it's like you will probably have a social interaction today it's like oh heck guy the store said hi when i bought a soda wow my horoscope was correct what a risky prediction of the future it just predicted something that happens like 98 percent of every day in my life oh i had a challenge wow that's never happened before what a unique day oh my god parents you can't do that until you're 18. me and turns 18. you can't do that under my roof me, with severe depression and anxiety. If I can get my shite together, I'm gonna run and never see any of you ever again. Parents, I pay for your phone, I can take it away. Gets tablet with own money. I pay for the Wi-Fi, I can take it away. Me, shivering with the fear of losing control of my own gosh darn life. Hey, what the frick? Here is someone I can finally control. They have no choice because I pay for their food. <laughs> no, that's not why you get a child. That, that's a slave you're thinking about, not a child. You have those mixed up, good sir. Mom. I really don't love you. I have tried, but you are so awful I can't. I am blocking you now and deleting your number. As far as I'm concerned, I don't have a daughter. You are dead to me. I don't want to speak to you ever again. I don't care what happens to you. Goodbye. I really don't care if you drop dead. I have nothing but hatred for you. Don't speak to me again, you stupid plastic looking bich. Okay, I'm done now. Blocking you. Drop dead. I truly would not care. In fact, my life would be so much better! Was told to post this here. Text from my mother to my 22-year-old sister. Mother is bipolar and randomly picks fight with my sister. She is a bully to everyone in the family and we recently caught her cheating on my dad. So we filed a divorce today. Good riddance. People like that, no matter if they are family or not, are people you should not have in your life. Family is a starting point in life. It's not a guarantee. It's not something you should put up with, if that makes sense. Family is something you should spend time with naturally because you genuinely want to and it's secure and it's safe and it's people you've known for a long time. Not because like, oh my god, I'm, I can stand a certain amount of abuse because they are this and this bloodline. No, it doesn't matter. If they're abusive, yeet yourself out of there. They do not deserve you. Dad. You died to me! Huh? Eric, really? You will not hurt me again! I am dead to you, so I guess it doesn't matter. Done! Not that I owe you anything. I'm the one who hurt you? <laughs> okay. You were my best friend in the whole world. You hurt me. You chose her over your kids because you refused to call her out. That makes you just as guilty. You're afraid of losing her. Well, you lost all your kids, except Ashley. So excuse me for handling my grief in a way I see fit. And for a last two exchanges to be telling me that you're ashamed of me. And you're saying I'm dead to you? Who is the adult here? Me or you? Don't text me again. Kids. Parents hitting their kids. Why don't our kids want to spend more time with us? <laughs> I wonder why. Hi, ladies. My 2.5-year-old daughter was diagnosed with phenemia today. The doctor couldn't tell whether it was viral or bacterial and prescribed antibiotics. My little one is exhausted. She had a flu for three days with very high fever and now phenomia with fever of 105. She refuses to eat or drink and is very lethargic. Do you know any ways to treat it without antibiotics? Elderberry syrup! <laughs> Of course! 
that is scientifically proven to work. I gave it to my child when they had a cold last year and completely, completely causational and correlated. She, the cold was gone after a week. Of course, it must be due to the syrup, not because of like that humans usually get well in a certain amount of time. Give your child antibiotics, for God's sake, lady. You don't know anything about medicine, for Jesus. I keep slapping my two-month-old butt, but he won't stop crying. What should I do? Well, maybe start with stop slapping him. Like 50% of the crying is probably because you're hurting him more. Oh my god. How, how, <laughs> what, a, what a mystery. <laughs> Only someone stupid would fall for that. Emotional abuse is readily forgiven by kids. Ignorant parents. No. So it happens I have a 10 year old that thinks he can dye his hair without asking an adult or any adult supervision whatsoever. And he thinks his mother is stupid enough not to notice. So consequences. Hmm. I don't know what the shit I'm doing with clippers, but watch me find out. Maybe after rocking Patch Adam's hair till May, he will learn not to freaking touch a hair I made on that body. I buy the products, I pay for the cuts. That's my hair until he's old enough to pay for it. So if you happen to see my hair loving son walking around like his hair is falling out, out all over. You know, make sure to let him know. Don't freak with your hair until it's legally yours. Um, you're a legal guardian. It's not a property, lady. For God's sake. Like I said, it's your child, not your slave. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, God. Me. My parents talking shit about me in the kitchen. Pro-vaxxer doctor pediatrician calls cop after death threats to her video supporting vaccination. A pediatrician has been getting death threats after she posted a pro-vaccination video on TikTok in a bid to make children feel more comfortable about getting their jabs. Dr. Nicole Baldwin was forced to call police after one angry viewer responded, Dead people don't lie and another threatened to shut down her office in Blue Ash, Cincinnati, Ohio. The hateful responses, including negative reviews as on Yelp, Google and her various social media pages, starting last Sunday. It appeared to be from anti-vaxxers who believe vaccinations can cause autism in children, despite scientific research proving otherwise. Obese woman who lost 122 pounds because of family grouting now says they think she is too thin. A young woman whose family told her she would explode if she ate any more managed to lose half her body Body weight by dieting and exercising, but now her family has stopped speaking to her, accusing her of being too skin- What? <laughs> so you tell her she's too fat, and then she loses weight, and now you're disowning her for being too skinny. <clears throat> it's, it's not about the weight, is it? You just don't- you just want to find a reason to, to hate your daughter. I wish I had a huge bat so I could smash everything my child touches. Like, nope, can't have that anymore. Oops, that's broken now. Oops, that's smashing the smithereens. I guess you can't touch that anymore. Or just smash the kid. <laughs> but it'd be like that sometimes. Yeah, I'm gonna smash them little fingers so bad. I just think you're a sadist. You're not, you're, I mean, why are you a parent? Video proves grandfather dangled toddler out of Royal Caribbean window for 30 seconds before faintly dropping her, Cruise Line says. I was reading the article the other day. The family were trying to sue the company or something like that, and the company flat out provided CCTV and other information how it was absolutely not the company's fault other than the grandfather's. The reasoning was that there were no warning on the windows <laughs> that it weren't spun. <laughs> Despite him, you know, holding a 18-month-old outside a freaking window over a concrete pier 11 stories up. Oh, I thought I should add, I came out that both the parents and the grandfather were drunk. The parents even more so, which is why he had her, I believe. My mom when my brother is high, drunk and home at 2.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. My mom when I say frick. <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Your children don't owe you anything for giving birth to them, and they should be loved and cared for unconditionally, and raised in a house without abuse. <laughs> My mental health issues caused by years of being yelled at in public by parents. It's cause of their dick phone. <laughs> I love this picture. It's so good. <laughs> My son will not be allowed to bring any other race other than his own into my house. I am not allowing it. Ah, yes. Uh, I, th I think you dropped your brain about two centuries ago. Please go and pick it up. Thank you. My trust issues started when my mom said, Come here. I'm not gonna hit you. Yeah. I love it, lol. I never got smacked as a kid. But this is so funny because my kids defo get smacked and I do this all the time. Wow. Wow, look who's not gonna have any contact with their kids as soon as they turn 18. Oh my, mother of the year. Oh my, yay, such a good parent. Congratulations. Me, learning new thing. My family. He's about to do something stupid. 
shady articles on the internet. And to ex moms. <laughs> Hello there, Marky Plower. Mm -hmm. mm, that's a big no for me. My three boys are just that boys. They play with cars, trucks, dinos, sticks, dirt, mud, Batman, Spider Man, Legos, and video games. Absolutely no dolls or princesses, not unless they are ripping their heads off to annoy their sisters. <laughs> yeah. Why do you care so much? Why, why, why is that such a big bother? I asked my parents for a ring, and they got me four. Yeah. I asked my parents to shut my door, and they told me to frick off. Me, trying to justify my completely valid point. My parents. Don't you dare talk back to me like that, you little shite. <laughs> Schmack. 16-year-old me. Doesn't have a girlfriend yet. Parents. Well, ladies, lasses, and lassos, that is the bit of video. I sincerely do hope that you enjoyed it. Down below, we find links to the Patreon, Discord, and all those amazing places. Twitter, we all found ladies. Remember to check out Me and One Topics podcast and also Sad Milk, which is a awesome collaboration channel I have with a bunch of other YouTubers. Other than that, have an amazing day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.